thought I would never get because it is just not my style was the Simple Vintage Berry Fields. Um, it very much country. However, I grabbed it from my local scrapbook store because they were closing. It was 75% off and you can't really beat that deal when it comes to scrapbooking supplies. But look at this purple. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is the one paper in the entire collection that I grabbed when it was full price because there is no other purple like this. And I just, I felt like I needed it in my stash to just kind of complete that purple. But we're going to be documenting some kind of strange, <laughs> strange photos today for this collection. Um, we are documenting a little walk that my family and I took at a baseball field. You know, <laughs> why not? I mean, this collection has green in it. That's all that's really required. So I've got a piece of like manila is kind of what I want to call it. Uh, cardstock vanilla, I guess maybe is the better word. I don't know. I felt like manila is a color. When you talk about manila, manila folders. Anyway, <laughs> total tangent. I am using a sketch from a cherry on tops challenge, Becky Flex sketch. Um, and it is really simple. It's got two photos. Um, it's saying that they're three by three and a half. Well, I'm clearly using four by six and that's perfect. And you can see there's a band at the top with a piece of paper that a banner down and then the two photos. And that's kind of what I'm going for. The difference between what I'm using and the photo though is that I'm going to go ahead and matte. I really like the fact that I matted this. It really makes this layout kind of stand out, I think, personally. Another piece of paper that I didn't think I would use this way is the journaling cards. Now, I'm not putting it down here, but that would be super cute. You get all the colors. And that's kind of how I'm using it as the band at the top. So... I wanted something multicolored to bring all of the colors in and what a better way to do than use the journaling cards. Now purple's not really in here but you'll see how I bring that in in the future. So that actually is going to be my band. So it's a little bit different than what our sketch shows and I am going to use the paper that is the red. Gorgeous red by the way. I probably bought a couple of those as well. <laughs> I really just liked that purple and red, but now that I'm adding this green, mm, it is lovely, 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 lovely. And I really like that Simple Stories does their like solids kits with a pattern that really elevates their collections, I think. So there's my base page. Bada bing, bada boom. Now I'm adding my photos. Beautiful, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy sketch. Now I'm going to go off a little bit from <laughs> what it says in the sketch, right? So I'm actually going to go do a diagonal line, a uh, diagonal design, excuse me. I'm going to go from the upper left to the lower right. So let's might as well just start with the lower right. And I love the fact this says laugh on it. It's just cute. Like I wish some other companies instead of using like the traditional ticket that shows what the ticket's actually for, they would do things like laugh because it's, I feel like it's just a little bit more usable because I am very literal when it comes to my scrapbooking. I'm actually gonna use this as a little bit of a cluster booster here. It's gonna tuck behind, you won't even be able to tell. And then I've got a couple flowers. Now these die cuts are all from the uh, bits and pieces. And I'm going to stick another flower down here. Isn't that just kind of cute? And then I want to get some of that purple in because I do have purple in the upper left hand corner as well. And bada bing, bada boom. Super simple cluster. Really like how that turned out. Now we're going to get up in the top. So I've got the puffies because I really like all of the sayings on here. And one of them that stood out was happy day. So I'm using that 
layout guide thing from Happy Planner because these stickers actually come off of this, which is not typical, I feel like. These stickers are very sticky. So I'm going to put Happy Day there. And I need a base. So I've got a couple options here. I think this bigger one is going to go behind the Happy here. So I just need a little something something a base and then this one is going to go over here something like that and then I've got a purple rooster all right bring up that purple he's going to face my happy day and then I just really like this bike we're going for a walk so I might as well bring in the fact that we're moving and that bike is perfect and that's my layout super simple really like how this turned out love the colors and it was easy that sketch was easy everything about this was easy so i hope you have a wonderful day and this inspired you to pull out the collections that you wouldn't normally pull out for a story i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.